kid. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Emotional, damn it! Ho oh, ho it's your boy DC Tree and this is DC Tree Dance Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes and today we're talking heroes, we're talking Nathan Drake, Tom Holland's interpretation of Drake and you're probably wondering why I had a random black man crying at the beginning of this. It's because this movie was terrible, man. This movie was worse than Loki's back was that time. This movie was worse than General Zod's hand x-rays. Listen, this version of Uncharted was worse than a Joe Kim Noah free throw. Just, whoa. Oh, whoa. It was oh, wide whoa. right. That's a Florida State player. It was bad, man. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't all bad. But they left out a component. One component that you must have in this type of film. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell for more videos. Thank you so much for the continued support. Okay, first off I want to say is that I am a huge Uncharted fan. I have played each of the games at least five times, okay? So, I am huge. But my expectations for this movie weren't very high because I know movies work differently. I understand that things are different. So, I wasn't, you know, going to grade this thing too hard. But it's one aspect, like I teased before in the intro, that they messed up on. Nathan Drake... And, you know, Tom Holland's, you know, iteration of the character was spot on for the most part. Clever, intelligent, witty, smart, hell of a climber, <laughs> muscular, you know, all those things were on display. But what people don't know is that Nathan Drake is a hero, but he is a killer, <laughs> like a stone cold killer. Like he will not hesitate to blow your daggone head off. And don't get me wrong. I understand you can't have Tom Holland, your Spider-Man blowing people heads off but you should have had some type of gunplay in this movie he should have been shooting people in the leg he's been shooting people in the shoulder he should have had a gun on him 75 percent of the movie because again that's what the character is about man he's a treasure hunter he's a thief but then he is a master at all type of weapons you know grenade launchers um assault rifles handguns all those things are a huge part of the game that you can't leave out it's like having a call of duty game with swords <laughs> like you can't do that man and i gotta tell you man daggone they did their best to give him everything but a gun a sword a club he was a better fighter than he was in the game using his fists tackling people but they would not give him a gun a character with a freaking holster they would not give him a gun until the end of the movie and he lost the gun almost instantly he didn't shoot anyone and i understand again that you can't have him blowing people heads off like i said before but you have to incorporate that part of the character in some way somehow you have many cop movies where you're just taking people out hit them in the shoulder hit them in the leg think about it. will smith has made three bad boy movies where he's shot many people but you don't see him as a killer you see him as a hero because he's not necessarily executing people and is in self-defense they could have did the same thing for tom holland and the uncharted film also i felt like to add insult to injury it was like man everyone around him was about that life about that gunplay chloe boy, had the best gunfight scene in the film you know daggone victor sullivan he pulled that yamper out when he needed to now even with him they didn't show a whole lot but they could have easily took this to the next level man i mean you just can't have a movie like this without that that gunplay without the tanks without you know the rocket launchers that's what made uncharted so exciting and not just like national treasure and not just like indiana jones is because it had like a soldier you know buddy cop you know modern warfare type of feel to it with the whole adventure running on rooftops with the whole you know you know treasure hunting aspect it was like mission impossible meeting you know 
Indiana Jones. At the end of the day, I love Tom Holland. I actually liked a lot of aspects of the movie. They got the scenery right. They got Chloe right. Hey, even Mark Wahlberg made a better Victor Sullivan than I thought he would. Tom Holland had Nate down for the most part. But again, without that warfare aspect, without that spy aspect, you know, that gunplay is just not the same. And I'm afraid that the franchise will not survive. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Just wanted to give you my thoughts on Uncharted. Very disappointed, man. They're going to have to be true to the game and true to the character if they want to try this again. All right, guys, check out the other videos on the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.